What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aaron. I'm back with another video. I don't really want to call it a vlog. Anyway, uh, I know it's been really, really crazy right now. We got this whole coronavirus thing going on. We have so many different sicknesses and I even seen that you know, there was supposed to be like a bird flu or something like that. But it's, it's just really, it's really crazy because in this time I really had to like check myself. As you all know, for anybody who's been watching my videos, I am a Christian and I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let me give you a little background on what I'm saying. A couple months ago, I had a panic attack and, you know, during that panic attack, I'm a truck driver. So I was driving down the road and I just started to get this, this feeling like as if I should pull over, you know, something was just telling me like, pull over, pull over, pull over. And to make a long story short, I just start feeling really numb in my, my arm, my hand and everything like that. And uh, I start feeling tingling and numbness in my feet. I had that go on with me and whenever I pulled over on the side of the road there were really no cars around there was nobody really coming back and forth I was a couple hours out from my family um and I really had to really sit there and think to myself am I really dang I'm almost dead I don't know I didn't get cut so don't, don't mind me but I had to think to myself Am I really prepared to meet the Lord face to face? I had to ask myself that question because a lot of us think that we are prepared and a lot of us think that we know the Lord the way that we should. But I had to truly evaluate myself to and ask myself, do I really know Christ the way that I believe that I do? You get what I'm saying? Do I really know Christ the way that I should? Is my relationship really um, the way it should be with God. And so I really had to evaluate myself after that. And I had been going through, uh, uh, more anxiety and things like that. And so God has healed me from that. I praise the Lord for that. Um, I have been healed. Uh, there's just been, there's different things that's been going on with my body, but anyhow, I really had to just evaluate myself and my relationship with God. And I had to come to realize that I didn't really know the Lord like I said I do. And the reason why I say that is because in those moments of anxiety and, and panic, I felt fear. Right. And it says in the word of God that he doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of peace, love and a sound mind. And so in that moment, I really didn't. I wasn't trusting what I was shown is I wasn't really trusting in the Lord and I really didn't have my hope in him. And so God in that moment was teaching me uh, a very valuable lesson, which is don't trust don't put my trust in man. Don't put my trust in anything or anybody else other than him. And so from now on, I put my hope and my trust in Christ. And then I truly, now I truly come and I give over my burdens. Because it also says in the word of God, all of you who have heavy burdens, come to me and I will give you rest. That's what the Bible tells us. Because all of you who have heavy burdens, come to me and I will give you rest. That's what the scripture says. And so a lot of times we carry around so much stress and so much anxiety. And we're in fear of, of what the next move is. Or because we can't predict what's going to happen in our future. Or we can't, you know, we can't have a hold of of things in our life the way that we want to. You know, we we uh, the enemy takes that and he he uses it and he plants anxiety on us. But see, the thing is, the Lord says to cast all of our anxiety on him. That's scripture. And so the, the thing is, you have to learn and understand who's in one who's in control of your life. God is in control of your life Two, If you allow him, I'm going to say that if you allow him to be in control of your life, he's in control of your life. Because a lot of times we put restrictions on God because of we want to control things in our life. Number two, um, 
you have to put your trust and your hope in God. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Not half of, excuse me, not a little bit of it, but your whole heart. Okay? And three, we have an anchored hope. Our The hope that we have in Christ, it talks about in the Bible that the hope that we have is an anchor. And so when you think about an anchor, you can really look it up like a, like a, if you really think of anchors, they're really, uh, let's just, for example, think of an anchor on a boat. Those things are, are I'm going to just, you know, not going to get into numbers or anything like that, but those, those things are really huge. Okay. And so those anchors keep the boat. Uh, when, when, when someone is at sea and they drop the anchor on the boat, that keeps them from drifting off into sea. It keeps them from you know, dripping off in the sea. So think about that. We have an anchored hope, a hope that is not wavering, a hope that is you don't just have to convince yourself of something, but it's for sure you can bet your life on this hope that God gives us, right? So those are the three things that God has really showed me and I really had to evaluate myself on. And I encourage other people really to evaluate yourself as a Christian and even as a non-believer or, you know, someone who just doesn't believe in Christ. So whether if you believe or not, I'm going to say this, the truth will always, will always remain the same. God's word will not return to us void. Okay. So everything that is in the word of God is absolutely true. 1000%. Whether if you believe or not, that's it for today, guys. Really, truly evaluate yourself evaluate your relationship with God. And if you don't have a relationship with Christ, truly come to him, uh, confess him as your Lord and savior, repent of your sins and receive the Holy spirit into your heart. Okay. And he will take you from there. And one thing I want to add before I go is that, you know, it's about a relationship man. it's not about being a, a really religious person or anything like that. It's about having a relationship with the one who created you. And so I know a lot of people look at the Bible or they, they see us as Christians and they think, oh, you're just a religious person or, you know, you just follow a bunch of rules. But the whole, the, the, really the situation is if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus and the power uh, of, of the Holy Spirit, you know, we wouldn't be able to be changed. And the things that, that are happening in us and through us wouldn't be able to happen without Christ, okay? So it's about a personal relationship with the one who created you. He loves you. He wants you. He wants you He wants you to have life and life more abundantly. There are people out there that say, oh, you know, you know, there's people who get to, uh, uh, or, or I got to have to wait to die in order to get my heaven when I should have it here. I don't know what Bible they're reading or what, what they're reading because it ain't the Bible. The Lord says he wants you to have life and life more abundantly. So... Thank you guys for watching. I hope this encourages somebody. Um, please like, please subscribe, share this video with everybody to give hope to all of those people out there who are hopeless because God loves you. Jesus loves you. He wants to have a relationship with you and he is with you guys. All right. So see you later until next time.